In this session today we are going to do the art of joining words, phrases and sentences. What do you use to join two broken pieces of toys or two small boxes? Definitely you use a favicol, stick, or any other kind of glue. What are used to join words, phrases and sentences? We use conjunction. So conjunction is a glue that is used to join words, <coughs> phrases and sentences. They are used basically to combine words, phrases and sentences. Here are a list of few commonly used conjunction. In today's session, we are going to understand when and how to use these conjunction. The most commonly used conjunction is and which is used to join similar ideas. Similar ideas? What do you mean by similar ideas? Let me take one example. Rohit is playing football. Samir is playing football. We can join these two sentences using the conjunction and where Rohit and Samir, both the boys are doing a similar kind of action. Rohit and Samir are playing football. So we use conjunction and to join same parts of speech. For example, Rita is intelligent and sincere. I have joined two adjectives, two qualities of Rita using conjunction and. The second conjunction which we commonly use is but, which is used to join contrasting ideas. Contrasting means different or opposite. For example, Shaila is lazy. Shaila is intelligent. Two qualities of Shaila are highlighted in these two sentences, but both are contrasting or different. One is a negative trait and other one is a positive trait. Here we can join these two sentences using the conjunction but. Shaila is lazy but intelligent. Now my most favorite conjunction. I love to use or. You know what? We all love when we are given choices. Conjunction or is used for choices. For example, would you like To have tea or coffee. Dear kids, did you note whenever we use conjunction or to join the sentence words, normally the sentence ends with a question. Now, uh, some few more conjunctions are there which we use in our sentences that is because, as and since. All the three conjunctions are used when they are showing reason. For example, I sat down, I was tired. In these two sentences, in one of the sentences, that is the second sentence, gives us a reason why I sat down. I can join these two sentences using either because, as or since. I sat down because 
I was tired. I can even say I sat down as I was tired or I sat down since I was tired. So in today's session we have understood the usage of conjunction at, but, or, because, as and since. Hope you found, hope you have understood and found this session interesting. In our next session, we will continue with few more interesting conjunction like if, although, so. Happy learning. Goodbye.